Hey Fragrance Family, I'm Daver. And I'm Manny. And we're the Fragrance Bros. We're Fragrance Bros. <laughs> Coming at you with new special guest, Manny from Cascade Scents. How are you doing, Manny? Very well. How are you, Daver? Doing great. Really glad to have you on. Uh, you have a lot of good content and you have a new podcast out. So really think that is really cool. So thanks for coming on. Thank you, David, for having me on. And I'd love to have you on the podcast as well. That's a fragcast if you guys don't know. Yeah, absolutely. Love to be on. And today we are reviewing Mr. Burberry by Burberry. So let's get straight to it. Date introduced is 2016. It's classified as a woody aromatic. Notes are grapefruit, nutmeg, cardamom, tarragon, birch leaf, cedar, sandalwood, vetiver, and guaiac. Now, Manny, what did you get out of longevity out of this? Honestly probably anywhere between the four to five hour mark yeah and like i wasn't getting anything too crazy so i'd say average below average yeah it was the same with me i would say it's six hours max and that's pushing it <laughs> you know that's if you're digging into your skin looking for it but yeah on the very low side of average but in a poor range for me what about projection projection was around average as well like we're talking maybe just within an arm's length like I had maybe a couple people notice me, but that's because we were in like kind of close quarters. Like it would, will definitely not fill up a room. So yeah, probably average below average. Yeah, got the same results with that too. Average, mm -hmm. maybe even below average. To me, it kind of falls off pretty quickly too, um, which I don't dislike necessarily for uh, for this type of scent. I don't mind it if it's closer to the skin, uh, but. It was a little bit of a surprise. Season, I would say this is good for spring and summer and day or night. And purpose, I would say this is good for casual and good for work. Yeah, I couldn't see myself reaching for this anywhere else. <laughs> That's yeah. pretty much it. Which is funny because the, the bottle itself looks like it's a very formal bottle. It has like a bow tie or a little knot on there. It looks kind of like a tie. Whatever. It's definitely not a formal scent. Yes, yeah, definitely not formal. I think that <laughs> presentation is amazing as it is. I think it's really good. Yeah, I think it's super misleading because yeah. it looks like something you're supposed to reach for when you're in like something formal or something relatively formal, and this is purely a work or casual scent. All right, so Manny, what does this remind you of? Honestly, this reminds me of not a particular fragrance like perfume or cologne. It honestly <laughs> reminds me of like an Adidas or Axe shower gel. Wow, okay. It's so cologne-y, and it's just like fresh out of the shower kind of smell like it smells good it just doesn't smell like a dollar per milliliter good you know for me burberry has always been one of those fragrance houses that's kind of like the b team with some of their fragrances the reception is generally good like i'm thinking burberry london and um, others are not so good i'm a little bit torn on this scent to me this really falls into um, a clone land where it seems like they're really trying to go after the same demographic, even the, almost the same scent as Blue Day Chanel and Sauvage. Both of those scents from Dior and Chanel are wildly popular, and I think for good reason. They do something in the generally very pleasant realm, and they have something that is a little bit special on it and separates it just enough to where it's not boring. This, to me, tries to do that, but it kind of falls flat, and it becomes exactly what <laughs> it's trying not to be, and that is a very generic type of scent. It's not terrible to me. Whenever I smell it, it smells okay, but it's just unmemorable, and it lacks just a lot of oomph, and it is just generally generic and boring. Yeah, I'm with you there. Like. It's definitely targeting those who are contemplating a one kind of fragrance deal. So if you're just going to reach for Bleu de Chanel for all of your occasions or Sauvage, something like that, at least each of those have something like overly memorable about them. Like at least with Bleu for sure, you have, you know, that overly powerful grapefruit. Here it's like super toned down, doesn't yeah. project like crazy. The cardamom is like pretty nice when you first get a whiff of it, but... Yeah, other than that, like I think that whatever people smell off of you is just super cologne and just falls flat. My, my problem too, especially with the opening, is that the citrus is not done very well. And that to me seems like something you really have to nail. Uh, to me, Sauvage nails it. They get the bergamot perfect. Uh, Blue de Chanel, I don't think necessarily nails it to me, but they do get it very well. Mm -hmm. This smells like 
it's it's just not great. It smells like a very cologne, as you say, a very cologne version of a, a citrus scent at the top. And then as it dries, it gets a little weirder. Like I smell a lot of that nutmeg towards the end, and I I actually like nutmeg and scents. But to me, this really kind of ages over time. So during the day when you wear it, you spray it on, it smells kind of youthful. And it has that very citrusy, modern type of fragrance. And as it dries, it goes and it just gets older and older and older and older. And so it, you seem like, a, so you smell like a granddad by the end of the day once you wear this. And I'm not saying that as a joke, I'm saying it just, it really does smell like an older man towards the end of the day. They tried to do something a little bit different and it does change over time. That part I think is worth mentioning and is admirable that they made something that changes over time. I like that. But it changes in the wrong way. Yeah, I would agree because like, I definitely get more of the woodier elements towards the end. Mm -hmm. And it just doesn't seem blended right for me. Like The transition doesn't seem as smooth or natural. Um, and yes, it does feel aged because you feel somewhat kind of vibrant with the grapefruit and the cardamom opening and you feel like excited to like wear this and get ready with your day and stuff. And there's like no remnants of that towards the end of it where you get towards a nutmeg and I think the guayac wood, um, the vetiver. And it's just like, I could care less for the dry down is what I'm saying. You don't like to smell like an old man? <laughs> mm, you know what? Like, it's just misleading because, like, again, I feel super, like, upbeat and stuff when I first spray it. And then after maybe less than an hour, it's just meh. Now, we forgot to mention that the perfumer for this fragrance is uh, Francis Kirkjohn, which yes. has an incredible resume and is a brilliant uh, perfumer. And I think this just wasn't his day. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, he's definitely one of the best out there. Yeah. Um, Lamal is definitely a classic as well as uh, he has his own line, which is, you know, phenomenal. And then all of a sudden he gets commissioned to do something like this. I think Burberry kind of just approached him with the mentality of, hey, make us something super mass produced to, you know, just the most mainstream consumer. And he churned this out, which yeah. I could have got from a shower gel or something like that. Yeah, overall, I think this is an okay scent. It's already starting to get a lot of hate. And I think with this one, I can understand this more than with Sauvage or with Bleu de Chanel. I think both of those two have something special for them. Though it does have kind of a, an interesting progression through the life of the scent. To me, it's interesting in the bad way. And <laughs> it's something that I'm, that I'm not interested in at all. I just think this smells cheap and it doesn't smell modern and it doesn't smell innovative and it just smells generic so not a big fan of this i'm with you there definitely now what about compliments did you get many compliments when you wore this i got a couple you smell nice but i feel like i could have gotten that with something definitely cheaper my wife she said she wasn't impressed <laughs> <laughs> and she didn't she didn't really care for it um i i know that she probably appreciated how soft it was because she, don't, she normally doesn't like really loud fragrances, but um, I, she really didn't care for it, especially the change when it goes to the dry down. She really didn't like the dry down at all. I really didn't get any notices outside of that. I swear, the most mainstream efforts from some of these houses have the most uninteresting dry downs ever. Like they're yeah. just trying to get you with that opening. And with this opening, it's not even that great. I'm trying to think like, what is there noteworthy about this scent? And yeah. there's really not anything. Bank for Buck, this is a brand new fragrance, so it's $88 for 100 mil, and I really don't think that's worth the price in this case. You can get, you know, Sauvage for around that price, and that to me is a much better fragrance. Um, I know a lot of people disagree with that, but I think it's a much better fragrance. But this is going straight to the gray market next year. So if this is something that appeals to you, I would say definitely wait until it goes on FragranceNet or, you know, any of the other discounters online. Absolutely. There's no way in hell I would pay about a buck a milliliter for this. Now, Manny, final rating, what do you give this? I'm probably going to have to give this a one out of five. Okay. And the reason I say that is because performance-wise, I'm giving it like a two. It's not interesting, so it gets a one there. And then, like, there's nothing really I can give it a three and higher of, so I'd probably have to say a one, especially with that value right now. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go a little bit higher and say a two out of five. It doesn't smell terrible, but it's really not my thing. It's kind of a copy of a mainstream fragrance. And though I don't really love it, I think maybe there will be some people out there who like it, but I just, I just think overall it's, it's just a miss. And, and I think even as a fragrance itself, I think it, they could have done a better job. It's clearly something they could have worked harder on and done a better job with. Yeah, he definitely did this kind of fragrance, like, you know, when he was, like, super tired after his actual shift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's all we have. Let us know if you've tried Mr. Burberry down in the comments down below. Do you like it, love it, hate it? Let us know. Of course, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe down below. I'll love you for it. I'll have a link down below to Manny's channel. You can go and check him out there. Thank you again, Manny, for coming on. Really appreciate it. And I really appreciate it as well. Thank you, David. And stay tuned for another video with Manny. We'll see you next time. We're the Fragrance Brothers. Bye. Bye.